So Alexander Usyk is set to feature in a Hollywood movie alongside The Rock called The Smashing Machine, which is set to hit screens in 2025. Now some people, particularly Tyson Fury fans, are making a big deal of this. They're saying, well, you made all this fuss about Tyson Fury getting drunk and how that could negatively impact his chances in a rematch with Usyk, but you're not talking about Usyk starring in a Hollywood movie. That's not gonna be good for his chances against Fury in a rematch. And here's what I'll say, acting in a movie, in most instances, not all instances, but most, is not gonna negatively impact your health to anywhere near the same extent as getting ridiculously drunk. However, it could be a distraction. It could cause you to lose focus on your opponent and then perhaps maybe not apply yourself in training camp as hard as you should. The best example of this would be when Lennox Lewis signed to fight Hasim Rackman the first time, because in the lead up to that fight, he was actually filming scenes for Ocean's Eleven and it continued right up until about 10 days before the fight date, which means he was actually participating in making a movie during training camp, which is absolutely insane. And of course, Lewis went on to get knocked out. He then had the immediate rematch with Rackman and knocked him out around earlier. But the point is, yes, in some cases, filming a Hollywood movie could distract you as a fighter and therefore impact you negatively. But, and yes, there is a but, it really depends on how close filming of the movie is to your actual fight. Now, in this case, with Alexander Usyk being in the movie The Smashing Machine, principal photography is set to end on August 1st. So that's at least four months out from a Tyson Fury rematch, because obviously you count the entire month of August since filming ends on August 1st. So August, September, October, November, four months. That should be enough time for him to get refocused, even if he has to take a month off after filming because of traveling around. Because this movie is being filmed in three different countries, Canada, the US, and Japan. So let's say you have a month off, then you got three months to prepare for a Tyson Fury rematch. For a guy like Alexander Usyk who keeps himself in shape, all year round. That shouldn't really be a problem, especially when you consider the fact that in the movie, Usyk plays a mixed martial artist. So presumably he's gonna be doing some type of boxing or MMA training during the filming process. Now the only potential issue I see is if Usyk is asked to bulk up for his part in this movie. You know, do a load of weights and gain extra muscle because he's supposed to be an MMA fighter and the main rival of Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the film. And The Rock is way bigger than Alexander Usyk. I mean, massive. How much does he weigh? 280 pounds or something crazy? Mostly muscle? So in order to make it look a little more believable on film, will they ask Alexander Usyk to maybe bulk up a bit or will The Rock actually slim down a bit? Because seldom do you see MMA fighters as big and bulky as The Rock. I mean, even uh, Brock Lesnar slimmed down when he went into UFC. He was nowhere near as big as he was when he was in the WWE. Now, when he was in the WWE, he was presumably presumably taking all sorts of performance enhancers. I don't know whether he was in UFC as well, but as I say, he was certainly far less bulky when he was in UFC compared to when he was in WWE. So with Alexander Usyk, if he were to bulk up for this film and then have to lose all that muscle to fight Tyson Fury so that he doesn't compromise speed and agility, that could negatively impact him. We've seen that happen to fighters in the past, but you would have thought he's too smart to make that mistake. He literally hasn't put a foot wrong so far in his boxing career. Perfect record. And he's been fighting top guy after top guy after top guy after top guy for years. Amateur and pro, undisputed in two weight classes. So this is not a guy who tends to make a lot of mistakes, clearly. Furthermore, this is not the first time that Alexander Usyk has starred in a film. He's been in two other films in the past. One of them was in 2016, a film called The Fight Rules, and the other one was in 2018. That was an animated movie called The Stolen Princess. That same year, he won his first world title as a pro against Krzysztof Glowacki and defended it against Tabiso Machunu. Both of those were great performances. And in 2018, he fought Myris Bredis, Murat Gassiev, and Tony Bellew. The Bredis fight was tough for him, but Gassiev and Bellew were both dominant displays. However, I'm gonna assume that the previous two films he was in were nowhere near as big as The Smashing Machine. I'm gonna assume that he didn't have to fly around to different countries, assuming he's actually having to do that for this particular film, because he may not, I don't know. Also, I should just mention the fact that Alexander Usyk, despite not being American, obviously, according to BoxRec, he actually lives in America, specifically in California. And of course, Hollywood is in California. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue for him to get down to those studios in LA if he's doing film 
filming down there. So what do you guys think about this? Is Usyk biting off more than he can chew here? Is he cutting it too fine? Only leaving himself four months to train for the Tyson Fury rematch? Or does he have everything in hand? I tend to think the latter. Leave me your comments below. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalogue of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app or download in high-quality MP3. Connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract, no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called the Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.